Okay. What I have here is the Bachman books, four early novels by Stephen King. And my notes on this book, uh, published by New American Library, 1985. This is a book club edition. Uh, the Bachman books are Rage, uh, which was taken out of print by Stephen King because the story uh, closely relates to the school shootings that have become a common thing today. And so Stephen King has taken Rage completely out of print. Um, also, The Long Walk, Road Work, and The Running Man which was made into a movie with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. For the condition, I have set the condition as acceptable. In some respects, this is a very nice copy, but it does have a couple of problems that bring it down to where I can't grade it above acceptable. So we will, we will talk about that. Um, the outside of the dust jacket is in pretty good shape. Nothing more than normal shelf wear. Uh, the top and bottom edges are pretty crisp. The looking it over in the light, getting a, a glancing light on it, it's got some shelf wear. By no means is this a new a new dust jacket, but for for this book, I consider the dust jacket to be in pretty darn good shape. Um, definitely more people looking for this book than there are than there are copies. Uh, the inside of the dust jacket is stained at the top and bottom edge. The discoloration is strong enough that uh, my first thought was it got wet, um, but then there is no further evidence of wetness and further examination <laughs> revealed probably the source of the staining, which is severe cigarette smoke staining. So let me separate the dust jacket from the volume, and we'll take a look at it from there. So, there's our dust jacket. By no means a new dust jacket, but a, a pretty nice dust jacket for, for, for this book. On the inside is where we get more of the story. The flaps are nice. The bottom edge, you can clearly see some staining. And that darkness at the top edge is also staining. And when I, when I first looked at this, especially the bottom, I thought, oh, it's gotten wet. And, but feeling it, and, it, and, it, and it, go, it goes on the bottom, that stain goes all the way across. But in feeling the paper at the top and bottom, um, it didn't seem like wetness to me. Um, so I wasn't sure quite what to make of that at first. And I started looking at the book more carefully, and that's where we got in. That's where we got into uh, trouble. And my notes are: um, the discoloration is strong enough that the first thought is that it got wet. But I think that it is severe cigarette smoke staining. Uh, this book, and when I got to the book itself, there's no debt, there's no question about it. This book came out of a smoker's house. Uh, my notes: When I got it, it was the worst cigarette smoke damaged book that I've ever seen. When I cracked this book open, it just reeked of cigarette smoke. Um, well, I should read my own notes. The book reeked of stale smoke as soon as I opened it up. Um, I did treat it with a sealed bag 
and baking soda for three weeks and I reduced the aroma by I would say about 70 percent it is vastly improved um, however it's still when you when you if you don't open the book it's there you can tell but it's not overpowering when you open the book it become it becomes much stronger and there's no there's no question it came out of a smoker's house now I did reduce it from horrendous I think I got about 70 percent of the aroma out uh, so this copy will be of zero interest to some people because of the remaining smoke odor how much more odor reduction can be achieved I honestly don't know if I were keeping this book for myself I would continue to to work with it and I think I could get uh, I think I could get a fair bit more improvement um, it is now tolerable to me but it is still the primary issue with this copy uh, the buyer has to be prepared to accept the remaining level of smoke aroma or to further treat and reduce. Um, if I were keeping this for myself, I would uh, continue to work with it and I think I could improve it. Whether it could be eliminated completely, I don't know. Um, this, this did have very, very serious uh, uh, cigarette smoke aroma uh, I'm pretty happy with the level of improvement that I've that I've gotten out of it uh, cover is solid binding is solid text block is solid it's just too bad it was in a smoker's house uh, pages are clean and quite bright uh, the book was 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 tight the book was tight and the, so the pages are really the pages are really nice uh, there is a two and a half inch dog ear crease at page 59 and 60. I don't know if this will show on the video. Now, where is that crease? said 59 and 60 where is it at okay there it is there it is come on come on come back to me come back to me oh come on now ah! well I fixed it up pretty good and it looks like I have a typo in, in my in my notes the crease is at page 39 and 40 not 59 and 60 no wonder I couldn't find it and it's not gonna show on the on the video now looking at the page you can see it in hand I can see it okay yeah there's a two and a half inch crease there it's not a band it's it's a crease uh, which I which I reset and had a problem finding it again, uh, but when you get to that page, there, there, there is a crease there, and I will change the notes uh, as far as which page it is. Um, there is minor smoke cause foxing to the top edge and fore edge. The foxing is given the given the level of of smoke aroma that got deep into the book I'm amazed that the top edge is has as little foxing as it does you can't really see it in in the video but there, there's some brown there's some brown spots and also on the on the fore edge you know much less so on the bottom edge so there there is some foxing on the top edge and fore edge um, but the text block, the pages are bright, crisp, it's 
So we do have some cigarette smoke caused foxing on the edges. They did not make their way into the pages. But the aroma of the cigarette smoke did. So I'm not trying to make the book sound terrible. You know, but I want I want I want to note everything that that's uh, potentially wrong with it. Um, so what other notes do I have here? Um, the foxing is there, but pretty minimal in my opinion. In this case, I can I consider condition as acceptable due to remaining cigarette smoke aroma. Uh, which is unfortunate because otherwise it would be a uh, good plus. Um, it's a nice copy. It's still a nice copy uh, to the right person, especially to the right person that wants a nice copy of, of Rage. And that is the fairest assessment I know to, uh, to give to this.